Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. I've been thinking about making this tumbler for over two years, and I just finally got all the parts together. So I'm starting with a 20 ounce skinny that I got from Makerflow, and I have had this sweater vinyl print for two years. I can't even remember where I got it from. And then last year, I bought that Hello Sweater Weather decal from Gracefully Created, and it's been sitting there. And just finally, on the last order that I placed a couple weeks ago at Gracefully Created, I ordered all of the pumpkins and the florals, and when I was going through trying to figure out some tutorials I wanted to make, all of the colors just came together. So I decided to make this tumbler. So I cleaned and prepped the 20 ounce skinny that I got from Makerflow. And I just went and measured this sweater um, vinyl and set it so that I could just easily place it around the cup using the hinge method. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trimming everything up to make it as quick and easy for me as possible. And then I'll go ahead and cut just about an inch off of the side seam here. And I will use the hinge method with my large squeegee to place it all the way around the tumbler. And if you haven't done so yet, check out my Lily Bean Crafters community Facebook group. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place some glitter on the bottom of the tumbler and I'm going to use the waterfall method. So what I decided to do was go ahead and epoxy the tumbler. I put about two ounces of epoxy all over the vinyl and the tumbler. And now I'm going in with Ope, which is a really pretty color from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I got full coverage on the bottom of the tumbler and the bottom rim. And then now I'm just angling it up. I've got the bottle open all the way so I get a lot of pour here. And then I'll go ahead and close the big portion of the glitter bottle and then I'll open up the smaller one and then it will just sprinkle just a little bit more out just so that I can get a little bit to trickle into the sweater material. I'm going to go ahead and take my piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to pat down this glitter. It's a glitter mix but it has more chunky in it than anything else so I just want to make sure that I pat it down to make it as easy as possible when I go in an epoxy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna put this on my turner because only half of the tumbler is glittered. I don't wanna take a chance on having any of it um, sprinkle. So I am putting it on my turner here and I'm just gonna let it spin for the four hours that it takes for it to dry. And there was a couple of pieces of glitter that I just didn't like where they had landed. So I just went ahead and I moved them. And I let this dry for four hours, and now I'm going in with my first coat of epoxy. Um, I am using 20 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy, and I will say I did not seal this before I went in with the epoxy. It was already on the spinner, and I just decided to just roll with it, and that is a mistake. Always seal your um, chunkier glitters because the pokey bits come up no matter what. So as I was putting this on even though I use the epoxy method to apply it as I was putting the epoxy on it was lifting some of the chunkier pieces and it just made it more difficult for me so take the time to seal it and then let it sit and dry and then start going in with your epoxy because as you can see now I'm going in it, this has 20 mLs of epoxy on it and I'm going in and I'm pulling off all of or as many of the chunky glitter pieces that lifted to try to make it so that I don't have to do so many coats on this before I put the vinyl on. 
once this coat dried I did go and I sanded it down really good and then I went in and put in another 15 mls of my facet epoxy and I let that dry for four hours and then I was ready to go in with the decal and here I am just trying to figure out where I want to put everything I really wanted to put this sweater weather decal down in the glitter it just was something a little bit different than just putting it up on the top so um, I did check to make sure that you would be able to see it through the glitter and it did show perfectly well um, as I was looking at it and I went ahead and I just trimmed off. I don't like um, when there's straight edges on vinyl so I went ahead and I just rounded it to make it so that it wouldn't show when I epoxied it. So I'm going to go ahead and just gently apply it. And you know me, I don't like to measure it or anything like that. I just put it on there and realized that I put it on slightly crooked. So I went ahead and I removed it and now I'm going in again. And thankfully it's a removable, removable vinyl. So I was able to do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place it down again, get it all placed down good and make sure that there's no, no parts are gonna lift up when I epoxy it. And now I'm gonna go in and start picking the floral pieces and the pumpkins that I want to use on it. Um, so I just picked one of them, cut it out, made sure that all the edges were rounded. Once again, I don't like any um, straight edges on my vinyl. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in on the back side. And then I'm going to cut out two pumpkins and just kind of put them side by side of it so that it really shows well. In and I'm trimming out a couple more flowers because I just wanted to see how they would look if I brought some of them up into the actual sweater vinyl just to kind of see if I'm I didn't want to miss out on an opportunity to show off more of the florals but after I placed one of them and then one of the leaves I just did, I just didn't like the way it was I wanted to leave the sweater material alone up on top so then I went ahead and I removed it
I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. So I'm going to go in with 10 mLs of my facet epoxy. And here I am popping the bubbles. I'm going to let that spin for four hours. And then I'm going to sand it down really well. Go in with another 10 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Medium Viscosity Artist Cure Resin. And let that spin for eight to 10 hours. And then it will be all ready. And here is the final product. It turned out so pretty. I love how all the colors came together. I, I've been sitting on this for so long and I'm kind of glad that I waited because everything just looks so beautifully together. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see everybody again next week. Bye-bye.